In this video, we are going to talk about the limit of a polynomial function. So, let's talk about a limit, limit of a polynomial, polynomial function. Right? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider a polynomial function. So, let, let Px is a polynomial function. Px is a polynomial, polynomial function and A is a a is a real real number a is a real number then then limit x tends to a px is equal to p a right so this is basically the statement of a polynomial function and this is the statement that we can use to define or to find the limit of a polynomial function. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider a polynomial function. So let's consider a polynomial function. So let Px is a polynomial function such as b0 plus b1x plus b2x squared plus dash 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 plus bn x to the power n. So as you can see, my ps is a polynomial function of order n, right? Where n is, where n is a real, real number. Or if I want to be more specific, I would say it's a positive, it's a positive, integer. It is a positive integer. So n is my positive integer. What I want to do, I want to find the limit of this polynomial function at point A. So I'm going to write it as limit x tends to A px is equal to, I'm going to take the limit on both sides. So I will write this is equal to limit x tends to a. I'm going to write my entire polynomial function, which is basically what? v0 plus b1x plus b2x square plus dash 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 plus bn x to the power n. Right? So this is my polynomial function. I'm trying to find the limit of this polynomial function at point A. So, the way I'm going to find the limit of this polynomial function is basically, it's pretty straightforward. So what we can do, we can substitute the value of x as A in the polynomial function. So basically what we are doing, we are replacing x by A to find the limit of the polynomial function. So we will get, this x will be replaced by A, so we will get P of A is equal to B0 because there is no X over there plus B1 and I'm going to replace this X by A. So I write B1A plus B2. I'm going to replace this X by A again. So I write A squared plus dash 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 plus BN A to the power N. Right? And this is the limit for the given polynomial function, which is Px, at point x equals to a. Alright? Now, let's consider an example. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider an example. So my example is, Px is a polynomial function, and the polynomial function is like x cubed plus 2x squared, plus x plus 7, right? 
This is my polynomial function. And what I want to do, I want to find the limit of this polynomial function at x tends to 2. Or I should say, we need to find the limit x tends to 2 for px. Alright? Now, let's find the limit of this polynomial function. So, I'm going to write it as my px is right here. So, I will write limit x tends to 2 px is equal to limit x tends to 2 and my polynomial function is on the right hand side is basically x cube plus 2x square plus x plus 7. So this is my polynomial function. So the way I am going to find the limit of the polynomial function is basically I am going to replace x by 2. So this is equal to basically each x will be replaced by 2. So I will write 2 cube plus 2 times 2 squared plus x which is 2 plus 7. Right? So let's simplify further. So on the this side I have p of 2. Right? So let's simplify and if I do that I have 2 cube is basically what? 8 plus 2 squared is 4. So 4 times 2 is again 8 plus 2 plus 7. Right? Now let's simplify further. So I have 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 2 is 18 and 18 plus 7 is 25. Right? So 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 2 is 18. 18 plus 7 is 25. So P of 2 is basically what? 25. Right? So if I want to write what is the limit, this limit, I will write this one as limit, limit x tends to 2 px is equal to 25. And this is my limit for the given polynomial function, which is right here, at x equals to 2. And this is how we'll find the limit of any given polynomial function at any given point.